We have a saying, to see is to believe, right? That is why it's hard for some people today to believe stories from the past because they all sound so made up. Take, for example, the famous city of Troy. It was just a city in Greek mythology, not until it was discovered in 1871. So let's find out. What are the other eight archaeological discoveries that altered our perception of the past? Hi there. Welcome to our channel, Eventful Insights. Today we'll be discovering eight archaeological findings that have helped us have a better understanding of our past. Curious to know what these are yet? Before we begin, we'd love to know this in the comments below. What event from the past do you still find hard to believe today? Let's begin with number eight, Otzi. Otzi the Iceman, a mummy that's over 5,000 years old, created a worldwide stir when it was discovered in 1991 by two German hikers in the Italian Alps. These hikers stumbled upon Otzi while trekking through the Tisenjuk Pass at a high elevation. The mummy was found sticking out of the ice near the border of Austria and Italy. The body was kept well-preserved by the ice naturally, without any human help like the methods used in ancient Egyptian mummification or using intentional chemicals. Researchers later determined that Otzi lived around 3,300 BC, placing him in the Copper Age, a time between the Neolithic and Late Bronze Age. Since his discovery, Otzi, named after the Otztal Valley where he was found, has been a subject of public fascination and scientific investigation. Experts have examined his mummified body, the clothes he wore, and the tools he carried, shedding light on life during that ancient period. Now let's move to number seven, Mohenjo-Daro. The ancient city of Mohenjo-Daro in modern-day Pakistan had a carefully organized street layout and an advanced drainage system. This suggests that the people who lived there around 3000 BC were skilled at urban planning and had a strong focus on managing water. Despite these clues, the identity of the inhabitants of this city remains a mystery. The city doesn't have grand palaces, temples, or monuments. There's no clear main government building or signs of a ruler like a king or queen. Instead, the people seem to value simplicity, organization, and cleanliness. They used standardized pottery and tools made of copper and stone. Seals and weights imply a well-regulated trading system. Archaeologists explored Mohenjo-Daro for the first time in 1911. They conducted multiple excavations from the 1920s to 1931, with smaller investigations in the 1930s and subsequent digs in 1950 and 1964. This ancient city is located on higher ground in today's Larkana district of Sindh province in Pakistan. Speaking of ancient cities, for number six, we have Troy. Troy is a well-known city in Greek mythology often thought of as legendary. However, archaeological evidence indicates that the actual city of Troy did exist. In 1871, archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann uncovered the site of the legendary city. His excavations unveiled multiple layers of a city that had been built and destroyed over time. These findings suggest that the events mentioned in Homer's Iliad might be based on real historical events. The discovery of Troy also supports the historical occurrence of the Trojan War, thought to have happened in the 13th or 12th century BC. The revelation of Troy has changed our perspective on ancient history, showing that many myths could have some truth to them. Now, for number five, we have oldest footprints in North America. Many remarkable ancient footprints found on the shores of a prehistoric lake have revived a long-standing argument about when the first humans arrived in the Americas. In 2021, scientists claimed that human tracks imprinted in the mud at White Sands National Park in New Mexico were over 21,000 years old. This bold assertion challenged the prevailing ideas about the timing and methods of human migration into the Americas. Shortly after, a technical dispute arose regarding the method used to determine the age of the tracks, involving an analysis of plant seeds found alongside the footprints. In January 2020, they started the project by collecting seeds from a water plant known as ditch grass, which was mixed in with the footprints. Through thorough geological examinations and radiocarbon dating, they obtained a surprising outcome. The footprints were determined to be between 21,000 and 23,000 years old. For years, experts believed the first Americans came from Siberia, 
crossing a land bridge over the Bering Strait during the last ice age, around 26,500 to 19,000 years ago. As the ice melted about 13,000 years ago, submerging the land bridge, these people were thought to develop the Clovis culture in New Mexico, known for distinctive stone points. What archaeological discovery did you find to be the most interesting so far? Tell us in the comments below. Now let's continue with number four, the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient manuscripts, mostly in Hebrew, found in 1947 on the northwest shore of the Dead Sea. This discovery is a significant milestone in modern archaeology. Examining the scrolls has allowed scholars to establish a stabilized Hebrew Bible dating no later than 70 CE. The finding of the Dead Sea Scrolls provided insights into the culture and history of first century Israel, allowing scholars to piece together the environment during Jesus' time. Among the over 900 scrolls discovered, about 700 are non-biblical writings. These writings unveil details about community rules, military structure, strategies, and daily prayers. For instance, they shed light on the ritual washings performed by Jewish communities, offering understanding about the significance of baptism in the early Christian tradition. We're now down to the last three archaeological discoveries on our list. Do you have any ideas as to what the remaining three are? So now, moving on to number three, we have Tutankhamun's tomb. A hundred years ago, a tomb was discovered on the west bank of the Nile River, revealing the little-known pharaoh Tutankhamun. Immediately, Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, became a widely recognized figure. On November 4, 1922, a team led by British Egyptologist Howard Carter began digging into Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings, Egypt. King Tut became the pharaoh at just nine years old in 1333 BCE and ruled until his death in 1323 BCE. Now, a century later, advancements like CT scanning and DNA analysis, unavailable in the 1920s, have provided more insights into King Tut's life. Recent studies, including an examination of his footwear indicating orthopedic issues, laser scans revealing additional tombs, and analysis of a meteoritic iron dagger possibly passed down from his grandfather Amenhotep III, continue to unravel the mysteries surrounding him. Tutankhamun's tomb, mostly untouched except for a couple of ancient robberies that were later fixed, provided a unique glimpse into ancient Egypt, its beliefs, culture, and burial customs. The tales of finding the tomb and revealing its treasures made headlines worldwide, capturing the attention of reporters who were amazed by the richly decorated statues and alabaster vases. Now, at number two we have the Library of Ashurbanipal. The Library of Ashurbanipal, dating back to the 7th century BCE, is the oldest organized library known to us. It was set up in Nineveh by the Neo-Assyrian king Ashurbanipal, who reigned from 668 to 627 BCE, to safeguard the history and culture of Mesopotamia. Although more than 30,000 texts were found in Nineveh in the mid-19th century, it is believed that the original collection was even more extensive. The enemies of the Assyrians tried to erase all traces of their existence from history. Ironically, when the library was destroyed, the collapsed walls buried the clay cuneiform tablets, which were like books, and the subsequent fires hardened and protected them. These tablets were unearthed more than 2,000 years later by archaeologists Sir Austin Henry Layard and Hormuz Rassam. Many scholars consider this discovery one of the most significant of the modern era. And at number one, we have the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone is a crucial item in the British Museum because it unlocks the mystery of Egyptian hieroglyphs. These are small pictures that were initially used in ancient Egypt for religious texts. In July 1799, during Napoleon's invasion of Egypt, French soldiers discovered the Rosetta Stone in the city of Rosetta, modern El Rashid. Rosetta is situated on a tributary of the Nile near the Mediterranean coast, east of Alexandria. The stone was found when French officer Pierre-Francois Xavier Bouchard was constructing fortifications. Later, scholars confirmed that the Rosetta Stone contained three translations of the same text. The content of this text, which was already known from the Greek version, 
was a decree issued in the name of King Ptolemy, the fifth Epiphanes. And that's a wrap. Those were the eight archaeological discoveries that altered our perception of the past. Which finding, in your opinion, holds the most significance? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please support us by giving it a like, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to get notified of more of our videos. Thanks for watching.